Hello, and welcome to Suffrage School. I'm Tanya Shu, a PhD researcher from the University of Manchester. I'm going to be sharing with you the women's rights game from the digital collection of Radcliffe's Schlesinger Library. The game was devised in 1908 and provides a fascinating insight into how some suffragists socialised. It functioned like a feminist go fish. Players aimed to collect sets of four cards with each set representing a famous woman. To acquire new cards, players had to correctly answer a question on women's legal rights, such as, what professional schools are open to women in your state? The lawyer and suffragist, Catherine Guggerwall McCullough, created the game. If you look to her handwritten note on image one, she explains the game was played after several luncheons in our home. The hour presumably referred to her and her husband. The pair had been married by the female reverend, Anna Howard Shaw, who you will see as named on image 14 of the game. Perhaps McCullough deliberately included references to her female friends so they could enjoy trying to collect representations of themselves as they played. Despite some popular representations of suffragists as being defined by seriousness, the arts were an important part of the movement. Suffragists wrote and performed a number of theatrical productions including some notable comedies, and the women's rights game can be seen as an extension of this tradition. Historian Naomi Paxton has explored how suffrage theatre in Britain was used to encourage a sense of camaraderie and bolster spirits amongst fatigued campaigners. Perhaps McCullough hoped her game would serve a similar function for herself and her comrades. This sense is emphasised by a quippy comment McCullough included on one of the cards. In relation to the question, are women on boards of control of any of your state charitable institutions, on picture 55, McCullough wrote, women would be an inconvenience on such boards if the members met semi-occasionally, only for dinner and a smoke. But if investigation was needed, and such boards really did anything, women would be valuable helpers. 